a very warm good morning children hope you are doing well today i'm going to explain you chapter 4 wind song written by ann carol moore in this chapter in the beginning they have shown you a warm up page students this time i'm not going to show you the pages but i'm going to just show you the pics of the chapter the whole chapter i have mm, taken few clips i'm going to show you that and uh, in the warm up page they talked they are saying about hummingbirds ravens and owls all the amazing facts about these birds like hummingbirds are the smallest birds ravens mimic mimic matlab awaze nikalte hain ya bolte hain different types of voices they take out mimic like human speech owls can rotate their heads to 270 degrees and to their left and right you know so it, these are all amazing facts about uh, some birds they have told mainly this chapter is about uh, rachel how she helped her parents and what an efficient and talented child she was it's just about rachel in this pic you can see rachel you know it was a hot dry day the wind howled in the plains rachel sat on the bed and she was stitching a quilt she had just finished and the door swung open and her father came in and you know rachel she was so happy to see him father said hot day out there he said wiping his forehead rachel ran to him and proudly showed him her masterpiece she was a great artist it was a cheerful quilt she had prepared a quilt with colorful squares father said that's mighty fine piece of work let's go into the town this saturday you can show off your quilt i've got a sack of onions ready to take to the market so father said let's go on saturday the family excitedly drove to the nearest town 20 miles away and stopped at a general store while her brother and sister explored the store and her parents spoke to the grocer Rachel wandered to the doorway to look at a bright yellow bird. Can you see the picture of a bright yellow bird in the cage? It hopped from one perch to perch, from perch to perch, rarely standing still. You know, such a cute little bird that was. Suddenly she could see a man had stopped by, you know, was also watching the birds one man was also standing there and watching the bird oh, very intently it listens to wind that man said he listens to wind what do you think the man means aapko kuch samajh mein aa raha hai like what what do you think the man must have thought uh, said about that this bird this bird listens to the wind i just cannot understand what is it i hope you when you must be guessing ki kya bol raha hai let's see this man was astonishingly looking at the bird you know and suddenly the parents also came her parents appeared at the same time the little bird lifted its head swelled its chest and sang out joyous trill means uh, trill means it's a musical note you know it was singing out in a musical note jab koi if you can hear some birds singing out in musical no, note no it is so nice to hear children it is really amazing and it's heart touching to hear birds singing so you can you must have heard this is the new word for you trill trill means musical note rachel saw her mother's face you know mama was looking very happy 
she could see her mother so happy seeing the bird look at the expression of her mother quietly rachel traded her beautiful quilt for the bird now you know it's an exchange barter system like aap kuch dete ho money nahi lete uske jagah aap kuch le lete ho in villages usually it happens so she gave away the quilt and took the bird back home so she traded that quilt here you can see the picture she's giving away the quilt and taking that bird now back home the little canary entertained them endlessly aur khub unko bahut hasata he is keep singing and everybody was so happy to him they called him sir gallant can you imagine what did they call that bird sir gallant they called that bird sir gallant the louder the wind the more loudly he sing sang jaise hawa tez chalti thi ye bahut hi tez gaata tha the competition was so furious that sometimes even burst out laughing means everyone burst out laughing kai baar aisa hota tha ki iski jo awaaz the moment the wind starts blowing it used to sing louder and louder and the family member was so happy they start laughing Sir Gallant lifted their spirits, turning dusty days into su- sunshine days. You know, in villages, it's very life is not that um, you know cheerful how you have in the cities. In villages, it it is a little bit dull. But don't think that villages are not good. But it is dull. You know, there are no much malls and all. So when uh, their days were dusty, now it turned out to be. it uh, their spirits were lifted and they were very happy rachel often thought about what the man in the store said she was thinking what the man must have said she had heard the wind but unlike canary she had never listened to it herself now when she tried hard she could hear the music in the wind the music was faint and hidden in the background you know she was imagining what did the man said now you know she kept on hearing the winds sound she could also hear the music from the wind even you sit and hear you will also hear the sound of the music in the wind she began humming the sound she heard slowly slowly she started singing the song of the wind that's a pretty tune her mother commented one day what song is that rachel didn't reply unsure how to explain and her mother did not press the question soon she too began humming now um, after hearing the wind Rachel kept on humming the song song of the wind sound of the wind mother also liked it and mother also started humming the same tune one afternoon Rachel noticed that Canary sitting motionless on his perch she said to herself is sir gallant sick wo sochne lagi kya sir gallant bimar hai no it's just dark day outside her mother reassured her usne kaha ki nahi nahi mama ne kaha no it is not it is dark day outside it will be raining soon he probably doesn't feel like singing uski mama ne bola no no here outside it is dark and it's going to rain so maybe this uh, canary sir gallant doesn't want to sing see the face of sir gallant looking very tired and dull but rachel knew that something was wrong while sir gallant stopped singing from time to time he had always hopped usko lagta tha ki jab kabhi bhi gallant sir gana sir gallant sing nahi karte he used to hop from one uh, place to another she saw black thunder stacked high into the sky then she went and saw that it was black sky outside there was heaviness to the air and a prickly feeling means as a chub raha tha उसको कुछ दे समथिंग रॉन्ग शी सेड द मैंस वर्ड्स एकोड इन रेचल्स माइंड उस आदमी की आवाज रेचल के कानों में गूंजने लगी एकोड मीन्स गूंजना इट लिसन्स टू द विंड ही सेड नो दैट्स दिस बर्ड लिसन्स टू द विंड रेचल थॉट अबाउट सर गैलेंट्स ऑड बिहेवियर एंड द एंग्री थंडर क्लाउड एंड हाउ स्ट्रेंज इट फेल्ट when she listened carefully she caught a faint rumble of the thunder wo dhyan se sunne lagi to usko halki si rumbling sound sunai dene lagi suddenly rachel knew they were in danger mother she shouted it's tornado 
उसकी मम्मा ने कहा रे मादर मम्मा से उसने कहा मम्मा इट्स टो नैडो आई कैन फील दैट इट्स टो नैडो इमीडिएटली द सडनली रेचल न्यू दे वॉज डेंजर्स इमीडिएट द फैमिली रैन टू द सेलर एट द साइड ऑफ द हाउस यू नो रेचल रैन टू द फील्ड टू वॉन हर फादर शाउटिंग एंड वेविंग हर आर्म्स father got annoyed he said what's wrong with you she shouted tornado you know what's a tornado children a tornado is a violent wind storm that moves very fast in a circle of funnel father said i don't see anything but i can bring the animals i'll come back to the house with no with them she shouted no there's no time As they ran to the cellar, rain drenched their bodies, and a thunderous roaring pounded the air. See, children, this is the tornado. You know, the tornado lasted only few minutes, although it felt like hours. When the family finally emerged from their shelter, they were relieved to find their cabins intact. Pure jagat. उस टोर्नाडो ने सारा विलेज को डिस्ट्रॉय करा था बट देयर कैबिन वॉज सेफ द एनिमल्स हैड एस्केप्ड एनिमल्स भी बच गए थे यू नो सी द एनिमल्स कैन यू सी द एनिमल्स द लॉस ऑफ क्रॉप्स वुड मेक थिंग्स बट क्रॉप्स वर डिस्ट्रॉयड बट इट कैन मेक थिंग्स मोर डिफिकल्ट इट वुड मेक थिंग्स मोर डिफिकल्ट डेफिनेटली उनको पैसे नहीं मिलेंगे उनके उनको प्रॉब्लम होता but they felt very happy to be alive they were safe because of the little yellow bird now look at the look at rachel's eyes she is looking so happy the presence of mind of rachel and the bird saved the family hope children you have understood the chapter so you should find out the character sketch of rachel and write it thank you god bless you stay safe